Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 22 of my hardcore survival let's play. Uh, this is season two, of course. I always forget to mention that. I'm, I'm used to the old ways, the old season one ways. But welcome everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episodes. I've got an exciting weekend planned for you guys. Uh, looks like this Iron Golem uh, is still defending the McDonald's. He's, he's beaten and tattered. I was going to go and heal him up. So we're actually going to grab some iron off the bat just to heal him up. Um, so you guys remember last weekend we built the wheat farm. Um, I also wanted to check on the villagers because we have not checked on them in quite a long time. Um, and I, but I want to start off this week by making all this coal into actual, like, you know, coal pieces. I'm not going to film really most of it, but I figure we heal this guy up. You know, ju just be nice people because you have had a hard time defending, haven't you, buddy? Um, so he's already all the way healed up. But yeah, we had like almost three stacks of coal blocks. And I think that was from our silk touch pickaxe when we were mining out that area right there. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So we have quite the number of villagers now. So we got to start a trading hall at some point. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a Walmart or I'm going to do a Target. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do. But yes, our villagers seem to be doing just fine. I don't think that they can have any more jobs. So I think that's why they've kind of like stopped growing. Uh, but either way, that's a ton of villagers. So that's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to make like a large structure or something. And then I'm just going to build this up as tall as I can. And then I'm going to mine it down with my fortune three pickaxe. And we're going to see how much we get. So let me build this thing up. All right. And now the only thing I did between this week and last week's episodes is I got some XP. I uh, just sat in my XP farm during some Zoom classes. And let me make sure we're on the right render distance. Okay, we are. So I'm going to be using my Fortune 3 Diamond Miner. So we got Fortune 3, Efficiency 4. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys how much we end up with. <laughs> it's going to be an insane amount. But let me mine this thing real quick. You know, and as I'm mining this thing, I just spotted another Iron Golem. So we're going to heal him up as well. There you go, buddy. Now my, my my McDonald's defenders are all the way healed. And there we go. That's all the coal. And we got <laughs> quite a bit of coal. So honestly, I was expecting a little bit more. But I mean, six stacks of coal is not a bad. Uh, it's just not bad at all. Uh, before we go and throw that coal up, we are going to, of course, breed the cows. We need to remember to do this. We do have a giant field of wheat, like literally the biggest field of wheat I've ever seen. So... Hopefully, <laughs> these cows can just become a massive quantity of cows at some point. Um, there's a good bit of them now even, but I'd like to get even more, you know, if I can. Um, I think everyone has been fed some wheat. There we go. We will leave you guys and come back when you need some more wheat. And let's go and throw this coal up into here. All right, there we go. So 45 coal blocks. That's, uh, I think that'll be enough. Now we have over a stack of coal blocks. And if you hear my cat screaming, I promise the kitty's okay. Cat likes screaming for attention. You want to scream for the camera? You want to scream? See, now when I ask him to scream, he's like, no, 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 no. You see, I don't scream on command. I scream when you don't want me to. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of this wheat. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do this right now because this takes so long. I'm going to do this off camera. We're not going <laughs> to... We're not going to grab all the wheat right now. I just realized what that entails. And yes, I'm just going to waste those two things of wheat. But I, I I think we'll be okay. We got we got fields of golden wheat here. We don't need to worry about our wheat supply. So I know I mentioned it in passing, but last week we ended the episodes on building some user suggestions. And uh, we have Freya in her very own house here. We have our very own bee greenhouse, which is pretty cool. So I do need to breed these bees at some point, but I've only seen one come out, right? They, they sort of come out like in cycles so i haven't seen both of them out so i haven't been able to breed them yet um and then i finished the boat the boat was tricky um i had to go on google images <laughs> just to look up some like pictures of boats because i could not for the life of me figure out how the heck you're supposed to build a boat um, but i ended up building this little captain's chamber up here you know so we're commanding our boat that you know totally doesn't move <laughs> but it's kind of cool right i i think the boat does look good it turned out decent um at least in my eyes all right, guys. Well, I think you know the point we're at in the series. I really would like to get some netherite somewhat soon. So we're going to have to build a creeper farm this weekend, which is going to be kind of fun. Um, now, we have enough materials. We're not going to need to gather anything. Thankfully, we've uh, we've amassed quite a bit of materials. I think we're going to build it out of smooth stone. Uh, we literally have so much. Thank you, Silk Touch, for all the smooth stone. Smelting all this smooth stone would be, uh, how you say, not possible otherwise. So I'm going to grab a chest. Um, there's an ocean just yay direction. 
And we're going to head over there. We're going to build our very own creeper farm. I'm just trying to get some chests with us. We need a boat. We don't need one dirt. So we can just swap those out for right now. I just need to build like a little supply chest. And then, of course, we're going to have to sleep by the time we get over there. But let's go adventure over here. We're going to figure out exactly where we want to build the creeper farm. I want to build it as far into the ocean as I can to maximize, you know, spawn rates and such. And uh, I'm excited. I, I usually build the creeper farms like in, in weird places and they don't work very well. Uh, but I think in this situation, it's going to work quite well because we have a big, big ocean right next to our house. So if I ever want to AFK during a Zoom class or something like that, I'm in luck. So we're just going to head over here. Actually, we need to sleep before we do this. So let me let me let me throw this bed down real quick and let's see if we can sleep. Will it let us? No, you're going to be mean. OK, finally. And I got Steve's arm to glitch, too. If you're like holding the mouse down like this and then you sleep, sometimes your arm will be like like hung over the, the front of your body for some reason. So I need to build this out in the ocean, preferably where I can't see any more land. And we got duck rock, of course. <laughs> we haven't done anything with duck rock. I, I almost want to leave it how it is because it's like a naturally generated structure. I mean, we did modify the, the chin a little bit. Um, but I feel like, you know, I, I don't want to desecrate the duck rockness, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will at some point. Uh, but yes, we need to find like a deep part of the ocean. So I'm trying to look around here. And I think this is probably a good spot somewhere around here. Uh, because some land is starting to generate over there. And this is on like the outskirts. So yeah, I think we're going to build it right around here. So what I need to do is dive deep underwater. And we do have, thankfully, that thing that allows us to move pretty quick. So we're just going to go straight up with this. And then I need to look up some dimensions on how high up we need to build this thing. Because I've never done one over the ocean. So one second. Well, I watched like five videos and none gave, a, <laughs> none gave me a clear answer. So we're just going to we're gonna go ahead and just try our best here. So I'm going to build a little platform so that we can put some chests down and stuff. Um, obviously the creepers are going to have to fall. Now I don't, I, again, I don't know exactly how high up to build it, but what, I, from what I gathered, the lower, the better. Um, it seems like in most cases, so I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to grab some more stone. I'll meet you guys back here. We're going to grab some stone. It's going to be a fun project. And I really just want to get some shulker boxes. <laughs> That's like, I want to get netherite, but I'm not going to the end until we have netherite, full netherite armor, full netherite gear, everything. We, we're not fighting the ender dragon unless we're super over prepared. Cause I don't want to lose this world. Too much work is I put in. Okay, but yeah, I'll meet you guys back with the materials. I also just had the realization we're going to need a lot of trap doors. So I'm going to mine a bunch of this forest out real quick too. So it'll be a bit, but I'll come back with a ton of wood and a ton of stone. Nice. I'll be honest, guys. I'm hearing a ton of mobs right here. And, uh, you know, I'm always a curious person. So we're going to we're gonna dig down in here <coughs> and we'll find out what's going on. What are you guys doing? So it's just, it's just the three of you. Okay, well, I thought, you know, maybe there's a be, there's maybe there'll be a dungeon here, and we'll have two dungeons near the house, but no, I don't think that's the case. And it looks like this is literally grass. This isn't, it's kind of weird. I keep forgetting we have the really fast shovel. <laughs> it ends up with me breaking way more than I need to, but I can fill it back in, no problem. But yeah, right now I have almost two stacks of wood. Hey, looks like I uh, found a donkey, you know, I'm still collecting wood, and uh, we found you, so maybe we can tame the donkey at some point. Um, <clears throat> they're really helpful. You know, you, you can put the chests on them, and then they can like carry a ton of blocks. It's actually super duper helpful. Um, okay, so I'm sure three stacks of logs is enough. I really don't know. I always underestimate how much trap doors take to craft, and I don't get enough wood. Okay, well, I'm going to go get the stone, and then I'll meet you guys back at that little base area. Dude, 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 dude. This iron golem has been destroying our farm. You hear that? You've been destroying our farm. I mean, this is... None other than the work of a, of a golem. So I'm sorry. Mm, we just repaired him. I, I don't know. You know what? Maybe it's worth the collateral damage. I just don't know. People keep saying you should put the villagers out there. Um, and by the way, thank you to all the Discord suggestions. We got a ton of new members in the Discord server. We're at like 10,000 members now, which is really cool. Uh, but there is a ton, and I mean a ton of suggestions in there. So again, if you want anything done in this series... Um, I might obviously I'll do stuff on my own, but if you have any specific ideas you'd like to see me do, definitely throw it in my Discord suggestion server. So link is in the top pinned comment down below. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the platform. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I gotta fill up this stack of wood. There, there's no way I'm gonna go back with less than one stack. And yes, I'll just have to waste that wood. We got nothing to throw out, unfortunately. Uh, six torches. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna head back to the platform. All right, we're here. So let's, uh, we'll just leave the boat there. We're going to put up the stone. 
<laughs> we'll put up the wood. And I guess this three is probably a good idea to have. Uh, just so we can have some crafting tables with us. Um, okay, so let's see how many trapdoors this is going to make. We'll pull up. We'll, we'll put up all the stone. I'm guessing like four stacks of trapdoors. But for some reason, I'm just I'm, I'm worried that it's not going to do four. No, see, I, I wish it would only show the right one, but it's honestly not that hard to put these in here. Yeah, see, I was completely wrong. It's not even going to be three stacks. Wait, those make two stacks a piece? Wait, guys, we may actually be in the green here. Woo! Okay, well, four stacks is not a lot. Uh, it, it, it'll work. It'll work in this case. We're not building like a giant, giant creeper spawner. Um, I didn't bring any buckets over here, which is kind of a big oof. And honestly, I'm just going to look for some buckets. Uh, do I have any way? Yeah, I can, I can get some cobblestone. So it's funny because we actually have to place some uh, cobblestone down here. Uh, we'll use our diamond miner. This should give us some cobble. It's funny because we don't really have very much cobblestone. If we ever need to get cobblestone, we're kind of in a bad position because we just do not have very much. But um, let me sleep real quick here. And then I'm going to go down and just mine a little bit. I don't want to swim all the way back. I feel like we can find iron really quick down here. Okay, watch. We can get the cursed Minecraft hand. Look, you... never mind. I didn't get it. I don't know if you could ever hear Loki screaming, but you should let me know in the comments if you can hear my cat. I have two, but there's one that like screaming, especially when I record. And uh, you can always kind of hear him in the background. Maybe if you, if you if you listen really hard. Okay, so we're gonna look for some like coal down here. I assume it's not gonna take too long. Uh, at least that's the hope. So let me just dig around for a sec and look for some iron and some coal. All right, well I finally found something, but it's kind of like underground. Or underwater, I guess, in this case. So we got a mine underwater, which, you know, is not too bad. You you know, but some uni unique content, right? And usually people don't mine underground. Can I find some coal in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Does this still work? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was worried. I'm like, I'm going to die. Okay, I might die. <laughs> this isn't working. Okay. We got we got to go for the coal real quick. That's, that's, the, wrong, that's the wrong tool. Okay. Um, yeah, we can breathe like that. No, 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 no. We, we can breathe like that. Like that. Ah, dude. <laughs> what if I just died like that? Like, literally the stupidest way possible. I guess I could just come in here and mine like this. Okay. We're good. We're going to make it back, though. Where was it? Was it over here? Yes, it's over here. I love swimming in Minecraft. It's always so much fun. Okay, so we got to make sure we have enough torches because we don't want this to be a spawn area. So I'm being kind of mindful of where I put my torches down. And this was the path up. And that just removed all the torches, didn't it? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. All right. So we have enough coal now to smelt this iron. Oh, yeah. It's a perfect amount of iron. That means we can make exactly two buckets, which is exactly what I need. Um, so we're going to make a platform down here where they are going to fall and be a one-hit kill. Actually, I don't know. Do I even care if they? I even get the XP from them? I think the answer is no. I don't actually care if I get the XP. Uh, Buddy, why are you screaming? Hold on. I, I may go play with him for a second and then come back, but I'm going to build this platform out at least before I go and do that. So give me a couple of seconds and uh, let me finish this. I, I didn't hit. I was supposed to hit F12 to stop the recording. I hit F11. What do I do? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I could just hit F12. It's not working. Oh, I figured it out. If I'm holding down shift like this, I can't stop the recording. But if I am not, then it just... You know, I was just building all this area around here, and I'm like, I don't really necessarily know if that's a good idea because I think that'll reduce spawn rates. So we're going to destroy this whole area around it. Um, this is going to be where they fall. They're going to fall in a three by three hole. Uh, we've got to fix that, though. That that will absolutely just bug me so much uh, if we have the water all messed up. You have to break from the outside in. Remember that. If you're going to break a bunch of stuff, break from the outside in, and then it typically works a little bit better. Um, okay. So I guess I already had a bucket in my inventory. I don't really don't know what I was talking about. I, I'm, I'm always bucket blind, as they say. Um, so I'm just going to grab an extra two buckets. It really can't hurt. Um, I think it's kind of a good idea. Uh, but yes, this whole area around here, we just it, it's unneeded. Like the creepers are going to fall right here and then probably fall into a hopper or something like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, can I fix the water? The water is just too, it, it's just too good for me. Okay. And then we'll probably actually leave the little front area. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to build this tube up an undisclosed number of blocks. Uh, I don't know how many. I think I'm going to go up. Like, I'm trying to figure out how, how tall is the top of the ocean. So it's, it's 62, and then you go to the bottom here, and this is 48. So that's like 14 blocks. No, 20, yeah, 14 blocks. That's it. Okay, well, I'm going to go up like 100 blocks with this. This might take quite a bit of time, so... Please leave a like on the video for all the effort. I would really appreciate it. You know, it, only like 10% of people who watch leave a like. 
So if you're someone who never leaves a like, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like to show me you're watching, I really would appreciate it. At least show me you're enjoying the series because I always like to see big likes numbers. It doesn't give me anything. And YouTubers say it helps the algorithm. It does not help the algorithm. What helps the algorithm is how long you guys actually watch the videos. Uh, but anyways, okay, I'm going to go back up to like 100 blocks with this and then I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, I don't have a ladder or anything. <laughs> I didn't get any wood for ladders. So there's no way we can get up and down from this thing. That's a oof. Okay. I got to go get some ladders. I'll be right back. I need ladders, hoppers, and signs. That's what I need. That's what I need. Ah, another long day in Minecraft. I've returned with the ladders, hoppers, and, uh, well, signs. That's it. That's the third one. I keep forgetting it. I, I was like on my way back. I'm like, what else did I need? Oh, yeah. I, I got the signs, dude. What am I saying? Um, but yeah, as for the ladders, we have that many. I collected 64 birch logs, so we can see how many that'll make us. That's probably going to actually make too many. That's okay, but we we need an undisclosed number of signs. I don't know. The reason I keep saying it is I don't know how high up I'm going to build this because I don't know the proper height, but I'm going to try to go up like 100 blocks or so, and then we'll call it good. If that doesn't work, ah, oh, dang it. Why did that? I mean, I get why it did it, but like, why did it do that? <laughs> okay, so that should be more than enough. Two stacks is 128, so if I need more than 128, I have gone up too high. Okay, so I'm going to build up the stone pillar. Uh, again, about a hundred blocks and I will see you guys in a bit. Oh, dude, my heart just stopped. I thought I died. I like literally, I was going from right here to right here, but I was over too far to the right and I thought I was going to fall in there and die. I probably should have a water bucket here and just like, like have like periodically some water in there because if I fall on this thing, I'm dead. Like, honestly, I'm dead. Okay. So I've gone up enough blocks, I think. Uh, I, I actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to keep going. All right. So <laughs> upon reading, I have like seen so many conflicting opinions. Some people saying they, they really don't work very well high up in the sky. And some people saying that that's the best way to do them. So I'm going to do like a medium mix in the middle. And hopefully that doesn't just decimate my spawn rates, but we're only going to go up like, that's like 50 blocks or so. I feel like that's enough, right? Like, I mean, I, I could go up higher, but like, I don't want to risk not having very many drops, so I'm just going to go to like, I don't know, like like right here, I guess. And that's more than enough to drop and kill them as well. And kill me. So I need to throw some water down, throw some water down, and throw some water down while I'm doing this because I am very worried for my, my own safety here. So as mob farm designs go, I've been doing the same mob farm design now for about nine years, if you can believe it. Uh, I started playing Minecraft in 2010, back when Envdev came out and Infidev came out and all that fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, I have sort of an old mob farm design that I've been using for like almost about 10 years, and uh, it's never failed me. So we're going to go out 16 blocks in every direction. So this is three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't hold on shift and 16 so just going out like 16 blocks like this in every of these three directions and then once that is done i will fill in the floor we'll fill in the walls then fill in the ceiling it does take quite a while and it takes a ton of resources we're definitely going to need more trap doors though <laughs> let me just tell you that right now we're going to need so many more trap doors so let me let me at least get these four things built out and then i'll explain there we go the sun is setting at a perfect time i got to get a screenshot of that but essentially uh, this thing seems to be working pretty well. Um, <laughs> obviously not working pretty well, but the design so far is going pretty well. And now the next step I usually do is I'll like build out the corners here and then we'll build them all the way over to the other side over here. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. It's actually a very mundane task, but you know, sometimes in Minecraft, especially when I'm doing like a mob farm, it's the most enjoyable thing. The first mob farm I, I ever built with this design, I did a 50 by 50 mob spawner. Man, I did not realize how big that was when I was younger. A <laughs> 50 by 50? Dude, it took me like at least like six or seven hours. And the amount of mobs that these sort of farms, there are monsters nearby. Oh, <laughs> you guys, okay, that, see, this is a precursor to what's to come. This is kind of like, this is a sign right here. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say was that back when mob farm designs like this were the most efficient you could possibly build, I'll tell you what, I got so many drops that it was like, it was ridiculous. Like the amount of drops I got was just, it, it was too much. 
So I miss those old days, but at the same time, I'm happy Minecraft has gotten updated all this time because oh, the game was so bad back then. It used to crash every 10 or 15 minutes. It would just like have a black screen and then crash and then put a little text file on your desktop. And uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just finish out the little base platform and then I'll come back, give you an update. We'll work on the walls, something like that. Guys, I just had to grab the last little bit of stone. This is all of the stone that we have. I think, actually, that's a lie. I think we have a little bit more down here. And when I say a little bit, I actually mean, yeah, we have quite a bit down here. Okay. And then, okay, in there, too. Okay, we're good. I just had to go get more stone. I was like, there's no way we're finishing this. We'll have to get wood, too, at some point. I literally cleared my inventory out completely. <laughs> She's looking good so far, though. It looks good so far. You know, building this now, I realize that I've messed up because this is where the canals are supposed to go. Uh, the platform is supposed to be three blocks higher than this, but I can go ahead and just remove these blocks and do the uh, thing below it. But yeah, I built this whole... <laughs> I, I built it a little bit wrong. It's not a big deal, but like this is where like like ideally the canals are supposed to be like right here. Um, so you, you would build this up to be like three or two blocks and then you would build the platform on like this height right here But for some reason my mind blanked and I just started building the flat part So we'll just have to like break these out and then build them down a little bit It, re it really won't be that hard. It's just gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, I'll have to build a bunch of scaffolding But yeah back to work Alrighty guys, it's been quite a while and uh, man that took way longer than expected I had to build a bunch of scaffolding under here uh, but we finally got those canals placed, which is nice. Uh, now comes the fun part. We get to build the roof, which is pretty easy. You just go up one, two, three blocks. And then you just do this all the way around the entire thing. And then you get to fill in the top. And then you get to come inside and fill in the top with trap doors, which we are not going to have enough of. So we'll have to go get some more wood. But we're going to get it done in this episode. We're going to get it done in this episode for sure. So let me get back to work and uh, I'll meet you guys when the roof is finished. And then we'll uh, figure out the trap door situation. All right, guys, now comes the fun part. So I hopefully I lit up the, the, the place up here enough. I don't really have any more torches. We had to use all of our torches. I think we may have a, f a few in the chest, maybe. Uh, but let's, let's see the moment of truth. Let's make sure that there's nothing up here because there's a good chance that some stuff spawned up here. I'm really hoping not. Okay, thankfully no. Um, okay, so I do have enough stuff here. Uh, but yeah, we finished the roof. <laughs> it just took so long. I had to take a break and eat lunch. Man, it, it's been like an hour. But honestly, like, you know, obviously it wasn't the whole hour I was spent doing this. But it was a good bit of the time. So please do leave a like. I, I really would appreciate it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just fill in these. Uh, these are basically the water canals. Now, I, I did get enough wood before we started here to make two more stacks of trap doors. Um, I thought that I had more than that. I thought that I had more than enough for just two more stacks. But <laughs> again, I always, I always underestimate how, like, how much it really does take. So the fact that I don't have enough isn't really a big deal. But honestly, I, I, I think it's going to be okay. But let me f finish filling these in real quick. Okay, so all that is taken care of. Now we're going to put trap doors on both sides of the canals. Uh, namely for right now so we can get across uh, but of course no no that's valuable stuff rip <laughs> uh, but you close these and then the creepers think that you they can just walk in there did you guys did you oh it's a night oh it's a it's a oh I thought there was a witch up there or something I was like how dude I was like, how did that happen? I, I didn't realize it was night. Okay, I fell asleep. Look what I can collect as well. The sacred trap door. Nice. So luckily, we already have a good bit of sand. So I'm not really worried about the sand part of the TNT equation. Um, just the gunpowder. Now, we do have to fill in this, of course. And then we've got to get all this water out of here, which I guess there's probably a better way to do it. There we go. And then just remove all that. Okay, so it looks a little dark right there. And right there, uh, we grabbed the torches we had in the chest. Actually, they were in here for some, I, I don't even know. Uh, but now we just have to add the trap doors on the ceiling and then on all the canals. Now, I already know for a fact we are not going to have nearly enough trap doors. So we will have to go get some more at some point. Um, but it's kind of fun to put the trap doors down. I don't know. But let me put them down. We'll come back. And then hopefully we can remove all the torches and then make a little AFK spot and find out if this thing works. I'm really hoping it does because... <laughs> it's taking quite a long time to build. So, you know, of course you'd always hope whatever you build works. But yeah, give me a minute. 
All right, and there's the last row of trap doors on the actual canals. And now we got to do the most fun part, uh, which I, again, do not have any, any confidence at all that we're going to have enough. But we're going to put these bad boys on the ceiling. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Woohoo! It really is kind of fun. It, it's actually really painful, but I do it for the fans, guys. And, and for the netherite. Sorry, not netherite. Yeah, netherite. I finally got it right. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not netherite. I got that too easy. Oh, man. Oh, I can't stop when I press shift. See, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna press. Ah, oh, man, oh man. The reason I keep messing up the recorder is I just got a sponsorship from NZXT, and they sent over a new computer, and I started using a new recording software. So I'm just still kind of getting used to everything. But there's gonna be some sponsored videos coming out soon, and uh, they're actually gonna be really cool. It's not like your typical advertisement where it's gonna be like, oh, I don't want to watch it. Um, it's gonna be some, I don't know, some unique content. That's for sure. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. And by the way, while I'm thinking about it, let me plug my Instagram because I don't think a lot of people realize I have an Instagram. So if you want to find me on Instagram, it's just my YouTube username, the Neo Cubist. And uh, you can see my latest post on there is a video of the, oh man, we're already out of trap doors and we've only finished one little quadrant. Ugh, it's okay. We'll just have to go get a bunch more. Um, but you can see a video of the computer if you're curious to see it. But I will be doing a setup tour and face reveal as a part of this deal. So it's going to be pretty intense. Uh, yeah, I got to go collect a bunch more rip. It's okay. It's really not that hard to do it all. So give me a bit. I'm going to go collect a bunch of logs. We'll get up there, finish the trap doors, and then find out if it works. Man, I'm just thinking all these good ideas. Uh, another idea that I wanted to share with you guys was you guys keep asking me, when are you going to do the speed runs of Sam Dow? And uh, if you don't know who Sam Dow is, he's a guy who's been doing Minecraft speedrun streams every single night for like four hours for I don't know how long. I think the only day he takes off is maybe a few days a week or a Sunday. So if you want to go check out Sam Dow, do it. Uh, but yes, this summer, uh, you know, we're both in college, so our, our schedule's a little bit hectic. But um, this summer, we're planning on doing a speedrun collaboration video. Uh, me, someone who doesn't know how to speedrun whatsoever, is going to be taught by someone who's extremely talented with speedrunning. And uh, it should be an interesting either video or series. We'll have to see how it does. But it's going to be kind of fun because I've always wanted to learn how to speedrun in Minecraft. But, like, I haven't had anyone to teach me. And I feel like it's a lot easier, you know, if I'm taught how to do it versus me just, like, flopping around on, like, 100 runs and getting, like, an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be doing a speedrun video this summer. So if you're not subscribed, I encourage it. Especially, you know, if you've watched this video all the way to this point, you notice you're not subscribed. Why not subscribe? Because then you, you won't miss any videos in the future. Um, only if you want to, of course. I don't want you guys to do anything you don't want to do. But yeah, <laughs> let me get back to the logging. It's it's like it's one of those things where I want to talk to you guys because I don't want to, I don't want to bore myself too much. But then I know it's like, well, you guys don't want to watch me log. It's like, hey, hello, welcome to logging neos. <laughs> they were gonna log this oak tree. Cool. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm surrounded by cows up here. This must be where all the cows are hiding from me. They didn't want to go in their modern cow pen over there so they they came up here on the cow hill to hide i mean seriously look at how many there are it's insane okay well it's becoming night and i stupidly left my bed so we're having to run all the way over here uh to our to our squid farm which is fun we'll go over there we haven't been there in quite a while um let's just see if we can make it here because i don't know the exact path <laughs> coming from this direction but i think it's yeah i mean you can see it in the sky so we just got to keep running yeah this is the this is the dried up river bed i'm usually going in Yep, just taking that fall damage. It's not a big deal, you know. We we've got protection four, so we don't really need to worry about it. Now, can we make it in time for there not to be an insane amount of mobs, please? But yeah, we haven't been here since like the beginning episode, so it's kind of exciting. I want to check out, see everything's going. I don't think any of these things are loaded into chunks, so I don't think anything is actually happening out here. Uh, but I do know there's a bed. There we go. Nice and rested. What's in here? A whole lot of nothing. That's okay. I was hoping maybe there'd be just a bunch of stack of stacks of wood in here or something. But, yep, the squid farm seems to be doing okay. Uh, there is a beehive out here, so maybe we'll grab that, actually. Is this the silk touch? Yes. Is this silk touch? No. Uh, so we'll grab this beehive as well, just because. Why not? Does it have any bees? I don't know if two tags means two bees. I really don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of wood, I guess, out here. Not a bad spot to look for it. Okay, well, this axe is about to break, so we're going to go back home, and we are going to fill in the durability with repair. Uh, we're just going to repair it with another diamond axe. It's only efficiency four. There's no one breaking three on it, so maybe we'll, we, with our 67 levels, try and get an enchant on an axe that gives us that unbreaking three. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm fine with just efficiency four. If we could get silk touch, then that would be kind of cool. 
Um, so you can see over there is our road. So we're not too far off from where we are now. Uh, but yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the actual house. Man, guys, we really got to get this road filled in. I can't do a live stream this weekend, but uh, we, we, we got to do a road building live stream at some point because man, we really got to fill that in. It's just it's so empty. Okay, well, let's go over here. Let's just grab a little bit of diamonds and we'll just enchant one tool until we get. Do we have another one in here? No, wait. We'll make sure I'm not blind. No, because sometimes I'll go in here and I'll like see something and I like I'll just like not realize it's there. It's like my brain sees it, but my mind does not see it. Wait. My eyes see it, but my brain does not. There you go. <laughs> I said I said my brain sees it, but my mind does not. It's like uh yeah, yeah, all right there, buddy. Okay, let's see what we can get on here. That is an absolute if I if that was the only thing that oh if that was the only thing I would have gotten, I would have been so angry. Like if I had 30 levels and I'd been waiting for like years to enchant and I get silk touch, <laughs> that'd be so, oh, there you go. Oh, we can get that efficiency five. Let's go, dude. How much is that? Five versus 13. Yeah. I wonder which one we'll call this the chop, 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 chopper, chop, 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 chopper, chop, 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 chop chopper. What happened? Oh, the anvil broke. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the heck? What just what just happened there? Like, did my game just like break? Um, so we're also gonna put up this beehive as well. We, I, I do not think we need that. It looks like we accidentally gathered another flower too. So we'll just leave you right here. I hope you guys enjoy your new home in here, and we'll put a uh, put a couple of pink flowers in here as well. Some peonies. Okay, well, I'll meet you guys back at the actual farm. I don't know how many trapdoors this is going to be, uh, but we got uh, quite a bit of wood. Maybe this isn't enough because four was enough to do like one one quadrant plus two more stacks. So mm, either way, dude, <laughs> on breaking three, efficiency four on the chop, 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 chopper is pretty good. Wait, chop, 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 chopper, chop, 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 chopper. Try to say that five times really quickly and see if you can. You know what, guys? The secret code of today's episode is going to be chop. It's going to be, hold on, we're going to spell it like this. Chop, 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 chopper. So put that down in the comments if you want to prove to me that you watched the video up until this point. Because we're almost at the end here. And not very many people are actually going to watch the video to this length. So if you want to prove that you're a part of the club who actually watches all my videos, you can go ahead and put that down in the comments below. But man, look at this efficiency five. Look at that. Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> It's been a while since I had an efficiency five axe and like, man, I missed it so bad because we don't have a tree farm. So like I just farm these all by hand. I probably should at some point build a tree farm. I had one in the beginning of the series, but yeah, I should probably should do a chonk tree, right? It's probably the best idea. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done one, but yes, I'm very excited for efficiency five. But yeah, put chop, chop, chopper down in the description, down in the comments below. If you want to prove to me that you watched the whole video, that's today's secret code. Come on, guys, let's confuse some people. Let's do it. All right. Well, if this isn't enough, I'm going to cry. This is like literally three, six, seven. We might as well make it a per or an even eight, eight stacks of logs. Surely that's enough. Uh, you would hope so, right? Okay. We need two more. Yes. We're going to leave a floating tree because I don't, I don't want to waste any more wood here. Um, but yeah, the farm is looking very good. It's over there. Kind of ominous looking. Um, we have farmed so many trees though, dude. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't ever want to farm a tree again. Now, will that give us enough trapdoors? I honestly don't know. So we're going to find out soon. All right, guys. Time to find out if this is enough. I honestly, I have no idea. I have really no way to tell at all. But I, I, I have a feel. I'll tell you what. There you go. Uh, I didn't realize you could right click on it. <laughs> I'm a doofus. I didn't know you could right click. On I had no idea this whole time. But yeah, you'd think, you know, you'd get more for your money, you know, more for your logs in this case. But for some reason, you just really do not get very many. I, mean, I had no idea you could right click on. It's actually really nice. Um, it's like actually super nice. So I see this isn't even that many stacks, right? Like this is really like in the grand scheme of things, like since this mob farm is so big, I'm really hoping that this thing works really well, by the way. I've never built one over the ocean. Um, like, like I really actually I built one over land before and it worked pretty good. Man, this is painful. Okay, so we have quite a bit, <laughs> a decent amount of trapdoors here. What do we have? Three, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So like ten stacks of trapdoors. Will this be enough? 
I'll, I'll let you know soon. Man, that wandering trader is still up there. Can you hear him? Yeah. Still up here, hanging out, having a good time. Been up here for I don't know how many days, so hopefully he'll come down soon. Ah, dude, you got to be kidding me. We literally have so close to enough, but not quite there. That's actually really disappointing. <laughs> I got to go get even more wood. Dude, this video is taking quite a bit, quite a bit of time, let me tell you. Usually an episode will take like two hours to record. It's been like three, three and a half hours. So we have all of this filled except for this little tiny corner. So I am going to go back home. And uh, you know what? No, nah, we're not going to MLG bucket it. We're not going to MLG bucket it. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. I'm going to put some water down here, though, because uh, I'm too lazy to like tunnel across here. And then we're just going to float down with it. Okay, so I will meet you guys when I have enough trap doors. I don't think it should take very long to get enough. Uh, so give me a moment. It's not close enough tonight. I'm going to go and get a little bit more wood, just a tiny bit more. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's becoming night. I completely forgot. I don't have a bed with me, dude. I keep I keep forgetting to take it with me. And, like, there's no way I can get back in time. And that means mobs are going to spawn galore on top of my mob spawner. Uh, so this is going to be interesting uh, for sure. So the top of my mob spawner doesn't have torches on it because I forgot to put them there. And, uh, you know, everything else will be okay. But we're going to see a ton of mobs. So that's unfortunate. I got the wood, though. I did get the wood. So that's good. You got to admit, guys, this thing does look really good. I always really like these designs. We'll we'll fix the ladder and everything in a bit, I promise. Two and a half stacks of trap doors, plus we have 64 oak planks. That should be enough, I'm really hoping. All right, guys, this is the last little bit, the last final home stretch. I figured I'd film it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to have to go on the roof now and put a bunch of torches and stuff. Uh, we can go ahead and just remove the torches in here as well. We're not going to need to change anything else in here, but look at that, guys. It is complete. And man, let me tell you, these these types of videos do take me quite a bit. So if you if you enjoyed it and you like, you know, you want to show some support, please do hit the like button um, because these these do take an insane amount of time. And it's not that I don't mind doing it for you guys or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I like to I like to see that you guys enjoy the effort, I guess. OK, so what I'm going to do now is just remove all the torches in here. Not a very, very fun process, but, you know, obviously a very necessary process. Uh, we will have to wait, you know, waste a few trap doors. We can get them when we go back down. But we got to remember, we got to light up the roof in here, because if you don't do that, uh, bad things can happen and uh, stuff can spawn up there. And I just I don't want to deal with it. You know, it's it's one of those types of deals. So anyways, let me finish getting all these torches out of here and I'll show you how it looks. Mm, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. And we don't have. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the most important part. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So obviously spider spy. I turned around. I see a bunch of spiders. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? It's all my fault. I messed up the spawner. So we have to do something in here. And I think trapdoors prevent the spawning too. Uh, but you have to have a two block grid like this. So I have to do this throughout the whole thing. This is, it's not that it's hard. It's just, I'm more upset that I forgot. And I, I don't think I'll be able to do it with a congruent, you know, set of materials, unfortunately, because we're going to run out. Okay. And that's actually perfect. Uh, we're going to run out of uh, trap doors and probably have to use another block, but actually maybe we can craft some more, but yeah, let me go ahead and do this on the whole thing. Uh, Cause otherwise, yeah, it's just going to spawn a bunch of junk in here and you don't want that. You do not want the spiders in here. So they need a three by three by one space to spawn. And fortunately for you guys, they can't spawn anymore. Who, who here likes spiders? Let me know in the comments. If you like spiders, please unsubscribe. I'm just kidding. You know, I, I understand like a pet tarantula I can get, you know, they're pretty intelligent spiders. I, I think, you know, for a spider at least, and they're not going to try to like bite you or anything. But if you have like a pet black widow, you just shouldn't. <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but please no. That that's just kind of spooky. I said I would just do this off camera, and I, I probably will. Just give me a second, guys. I turned around and look, we got our first creeper. I haven't even started doing this yet, but look, we got our first creeper. So, heck yeah, dude. No way. No way. No. <laughs> We had the exact right amount of trap doors. I had to make a crafting table, which took four of those, and then I made enough. Oh, it's perfect. And this thing does seem to be working kind of cool. Or, sorry, kind of cool. It seems to be working kind of cool. There are some spiders in here. Uh, 
but luckily we can fix that pretty easy but yeah they just pathfind right off those blocks look at them they're not very smart i know it's kind of dark in here uh so we're gonna light up the top like we said we would because obviously i mean you you just gotta do that um, we can go ahead and break out all these torches um go ahead and break this and fill this in as well okay and now to get on the ceiling we're just gonna go over here um actually yeah yeah we'll just have to break one of these trap doors it's okay just need to remember to put it back okay so put it back like this is kind of, this is kind of difficult okay you break it and then you put the trap door down and then you put this on top okay oh, yeah he's still up here okay so i just got to put a few torches on here i just cannot risk having mobs up here when i'm like sitting here trying to get some gunpowder uh, but yeah, the gunpowder farm is pretty much complete. That's pretty much all you got to do. You just make a big old thing with some water canals and it does just take quite a bit of time. Now, I don't want to get knocked off here, so you guys can go ahead and just, just hold your horses here. I'll take your lead, of course. You just make annoying noises, so I got to take you out as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get these torches as evenly spaced as I can. I just, I, I recognize that I'm going to run out of torches before too long. So I'm trying to put them as even and as efficient as I possibly can. But like, I don't know the actual like numbers. So I'm going, I'm going for my best here. And we'll hope that no, we'll hope that no mobs spawn up here. If they do, ah, say la vie, you know, we, we can only do so much. So let me finish putting all the torches down and then we'll test out, see if the farm works. I mean, obviously it works, but you know what I mean? All right, and there we go. That's pretty much all the torches I think we're probably going to need. Now, of course, the spawning platform needs to be like above that farm. Uh, obviously, you can't be down here. Hello, buddy. I'm sorry I had to uh, had to take you there. Oh, we did. Oh, did we get that lead? Okay. Um, so yeah, people are like, why you kill the alpacas? You actually don't need to. You just have to kill the villager and you'll get the leads. Um, I hear a drown. What are you doing? Why are you here? Where did you spawn from, huh? Um, but let's see. Is there anything down here? Like some gunpowder? Oh, yeah. Quite a bit of gunpowder, actually. Um, so, obviously, we can't, like, see this thing working because, well, I mean, that's that's not how it works. <laughs> but we can see it's working by checking our gunpowder reserves in here. Why can't I get these torches in the right spot? How did I even get it that high up on the wall? Dude, hold on. I got to build my way up here. I'm so confused. Okay. So, it's just an optical illusion. They weren't even that tall up. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is grab these bad boys and grab we should have more chests yes and uh you know what we can just put the chests like we can just put the chests like right here um and then we can just have all the hoppers feed into that so we'll have to go over here and break this out it's honestly okay if we break this out we don't even really need this but yeah i'm very happy we have this thing complete i was really nervous about like filming this weekend because i was like man these things always take so long and by the end i'm like so burned out of playing today but honestly i'm not burned out i'm actually having a ton of fun which is good um, but yes, these will all, okay. I placed those kind of weird. We're going to make sure that they all lead into the, okay. So these lead into there and then this leads into there. This leads into there. This leads into there. Okay. There we go. So we don't, we don't even really need to see this thing. Like it's just going to work. Um, so what I was saying is like, we don't really need to like, you know, have a window to look into it. Um, basically I'm just going to AFK for a little bit up there. Um, the only problem being is how do we get up there? Hmm. That's a good point. Uh, we have this one ladder here, but I don't actually know. We could. I'm gonna try AFKing like not like up really high. We're just gonna go like I don't know up here a little bit, and we're just gonna see if this works. So we'll just try AFKing at this block like right here, and uh, we'll just see how well it works. Now, oh yeah, this was tricky, right? So put this down. Put this here. I remember doing this, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. It's kind of hard. <laughs> and then build a little ring around it, and then break this and put the ladder back. Where's the ladder? where's the ladder that's that's not a good sign it actually is a really bad thing that we broke that ladder okay well i'll go find the ladder i'll afk there and then we'll see what oh down in there i was like dude what's going on okay i'll afk at that spot we'll see how many uh mobs we get all right guys i've been waiting in this box for too long and i'm not so sure i haven't heard anything but i think they're they're maybe they they fall too far away for me for them to be heard but let's see if there's any gunpowder in there. We were waiting for quite a bit. No. Okay. Just just, just a wee bit. So, I mean... Oh? Well, I guess it's only, only fair that things are going to spawn. So, I think what we may have to do... And I don't know why there's more string in there. Uh, maybe the maybe the spawner isn't working correctly. But uh, eventually, I'm going to make some sort of way to hide out above the spawner. Because this right here is just... Mm -mm. 
it just doesn't really work very well. So we'll have to do that in another episode. Honestly, we, we've been recording for so long now. <laughs> I still got two more episodes to go in this recording session. But thank you guys for watching it. Again, put that chop, chop, chopper down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to, I'm going to type it out again. I had to log off. Uh, hold on. Chop, chop. No, not slash. Chop, 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 <laughs> chopper. Uh, there you go. So I always log off whenever I like, go to the bathroom or anything because I'm really paranoid about creepers. But yeah, put that secret code down below if you want to prove to me that you watched the whole video. Thank you guys seriously so, so much for watching. It really does mean the world, all the support that this series has been getting. Um, it's been doing very well, and I'm very, very grateful for that. And uh, I just wanted to thank you guys because, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't have a channel. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful to be doing what I do for a job. And uh, I, I will never forget that. But yes, thank you guys so, so much. And I do genuinely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a ton of fun making it. I always like making mob farms. I don't know why. It's always been like one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but man, this thing is big. <laughs> this is a really big farm. Did I leave a torch? Some oh, no. It's okay. I'll break up there and uh, get it in a second. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future episodes. Um, and with that, I bid you further ado. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, guys. Well, I figured I wouldn't leave you on a cliffhanger. I did build that AFK spot. You know, we're about to record the next episode, and I went back. I grabbed some glass, grabbed some more wood. Uh... And then basically I made this thing. So I realized that on the inside, spiders were spawning. I could not think of it. I, I kept looking in the side and I was like, man, there's spiders in here. Um, it turns out they weren't close enough to the edge. So I had to add another layer of trap doors, but we're all good now. Um, I built this little AFK platform up here, 64 blocks above the spawner. And I've been sitting here and I, I've been coming back down here and putting some stone and just looking at everything. And I know that's really stressful, but it's okay. And uh, let me tell you, this thing is working extremely well. So I took all the spider droplings out of here and we've, we'll just see how much is in here. But yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty good bit of gunpowder. So it works pretty well. I'm going to AFK, in, you know, here for a while in between this episode and next, just because, you know, we got to get a lot of this uh, gunpowder for next episode if we're going to go netherite mining. So don't mind me, guys. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I figured I'd show you what I did just so that you guys don't feel like you're left on a cliffhanger because it's never any fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye.